City. And in Ephesians 1, 17, that the Father of glory would give to us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. Father, we stand before you tonight, you are beloved ones. And we thank you for your church in this city. Lord, we thank you for how you love us. You've set your heart on us, your eyes see us. We are your beloved ones that have moved your heart. I thank you, Lord, that this gospel of the kingdom is being preached to all nations and all peoples. And we in this city at this time are a witness. In the middle of this nation, we are a witness that this gospel is going forth from Jerusalem to Judea and Samaria and on to the ends of the earth. And Lord, we, your church in this city, we stand grateful for the blood of the Lamb. We say thank you, Lord, that you've brought the gospel even to one such as us. You've given us eternal life in the name of your Son. Father, I thank you for how you laid hold of missionaries in the past to bring the gospel all over the earth. And all these generations later, we stand as witnesses and thanksgiving for the gospel that's come to us. Lord, I ask you tonight for churches all over the city that gather tomorrow. I ask you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you would open up the eyes of our hearts. Lord, we, your church in this city, we need our eyes open still more and more. I'm asking, Lord, for the spirit of wisdom and revelation that you would lay hold of us, Lord. Even at Foreigner Church tomorrow, Lord, I'm asking that you would lay hold of us with that spirit of wisdom that spirit of revelation. God, I ask you every church in the city, up in the north by the airport, out west in Kansas and east and Lee Summit and Independence, Lord, I'm asking that you would move in power in our churches as we gather, Lord. I ask you, Father, that you would exalt your son, Jesus, that you would make known the riches of his love and the riches of his affection for us, that you would make known the depth of who he is, that we've only scratched the surface of his glory and wonder and power. Father, disclose your son to us by the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation. Lord, I ask that you would make known to us what is the hope of our calling, what is the glory of your inheritance in us, and what is the surpassing greatness of your power. Lord, visit us tomorrow. Visit us in signs and wonders. Visit us with the spirit of tenderness. Lord, I'm asking all over the city that you would give grace for tenderness, that we would rightly respond to your word. Lord, anoint the preachers of the word with power and with conviction and lay hold of us in Jesus' name. Yeah, free.